I have in front of me here a null modem RS232 cable. Okay, now this is still quite widely used uh, both in the satellite industry and in the in the computer industry, but you know its uses over a period of time is reducing because it's been replaced uh, gradually by USB keys. But basically, what it's been used for is upgrading uh, software or uh, copying uh, a channel list, for instance, from a master box onto a slave box. So, for instance, we have a satellite box here, which we might mark up as a master box. And what we want to do is we want to transfer. Um, when we have a, a second box here, we could come along and we could manually do a scan, add on all the channels, and then we could come along and make a decision that uh, we'll order them in the, uh, in the order we want them. And probably from start to finish, to get it exactly as you want, would probably take in the, in the region of about an hour, an hour and a half. Much quicker is to actually just copy the software and channel list directly from this box onto this box here. So if we look on the back of uh, traditional satellite boxes such as this, there is a... Um, there is a, a, an RS, uh, RS-232 uh, port here, and there's another one on the next box. So what we do is we'll actually come along, we'll grab this cable here, and we just slot it in. And we can actually lock it into position here with these locking arms here. we we'll get the next lead, and we we'll simply connect it in here. Uh, and what happens then is, uh, there's actually a video that does this in detail here on a Triax box that's in the SR110 uh, user manual on our website. So it's just to give you an idea of what it's for here exactly. Now increasingly what's happening uh, here is, um, because this method here works well and all the rest of it, but normally with a box like this, it would probably take in the region of about four minutes to copy over the software or the, or the channel list. If you use something like a USB key, uh, and all, let's we'll say, HD boxes now come with USB ports on them invariably, both for programming and also for the PBR ready facilities to allow you record or add on a hard drive. Um, you know, with a, using a USB such as this, normally you're able to reduce the time down to in the region of five to 10 seconds. So it's becoming much, much more popular to use USB keys. But um, the RS-232 still has its uses. Um, so that's why we continue to stock it on the website. Um, some people still buy it, not a huge seller for us, but it's a handy product to have. And for instance, for these older boxes here, when we go to the program, we have no choice but to use it. Now it's important to note that um, there are no modem cables, so there's the pins in it, uh, some of the pins in it are actually crossed over, and that's what the, um, makes it uh, suitable for this particular purpose. Anyway, that's an overview of the RS-232 no modem cable.